Okay, we're going to welcome to another edition of uh, Clement Calling. Uh, this time we're, we're focusing on an award that's been given um, through to the Befrienders Project. Um, the award was um, given to the school in March and was to come to us in March too, but there was a small thing um, called a pandemic, a big thing called a pandemic that, that stopped that taking place. However, we've uh, arranged to have a conversation whereby the handing over of the certificate was acknowledged. And also we're going to hear from uh, folks who were involved in the Befrienders project. It's been going on here for a number of years now. It's been going on brilliantly. Um, this year, if you've a um, bit further afield, you can actually still take part because it's usually been um, kids visiting from the school and therefore has to be in the vicinity of Calder Glen High. But because of the COVID-19, um, it's being done by telephone, and that's working very well, apparently. Um, but it also means that even if you live a bit further away, um, this is your chance to take part this year. So um, get in touch with us if you would like um, to be um, in touch with a, a befriender visit from, from the school. Okay. Hi, I'm Gordon Palmer, Minister here at Claremont Church, and we'll find out in a moment or two what Claremont's involvement uh, is in, in this particular issue that we're looking at today. Ellie, do you want to say who you are? Hi, my name is Ellie Stewart. I'm a former pupil at Calder Glen High School and I was a befriender this year. Okay. Bella? Hi, I'm Bella Kerr. I'm an intergenerational development officer with Generations Working Together. Good. And Anna? Hi, I'm Anna Corlett and I'm a member of Claremont Parish Church and I'm a retired nurse. Good, good. Well, we're here because the Generations Working Together have, uh, have made an award um, for our Befrienders project, and we'll say a bit more about what Befrienders um, project is. The local high school, Calder Glen High, and Clement Parish Church have both been involved in this, and the award was made to the school in, in March and was about to be made to Clement as well, and you a certificate for each of us. Um, and it was about to be made to Claremont as well, but hey ho, lockdown kicked in. And we've not been able to hand the official uh, handover. I have, it's going to probably reflect a little with you. I have the certificate here. If we had been very clever, we would have practiced Bella handing it over and then it appearing in my box, you know, kind of coming out that way. But we weren't, we weren't organized enough to, to do it like that. But this is the Certificate of Merit. So Bella, do you want to say something about Generations Working Together and then the certificate itself? Yes, I'll be very brief. Um, Generations Working Together is a charity that exists in Scotland. And basically, um, our ethos that we, we, we stand behind is that Scotland should be an intergenerational nation. So we believe that uh, there's lots to be learned and lots of value in younger and older people sharing time together, doing things together that are reciprocated because older people have many skills. As Anna said, she, she's a retired nurse. So Anna has skills and knowledge and experience that she could pass on to a younger generation. And Ellie has skills and, and values and knowledge that she could share with Anna as well. And we've got that across um, our country really, that younger people can learn from older people and vice versa. Um, so I suppose we cover all of Scotland. We have 18 networks and um, um, East Kilbride being a part of, I think, Lanarkshire Network. And I know that I've um, met with Avro Anderson and I've also met with um, the school to hand over this award. So I suppose the next thing we'd like to see, see I'd, I'd like to see on behalf of Generations Working Together is that the Excellence Awards take place every year. And this is when we ask people to um, put their project forward for an Excellence Award. And the Excellence Awards, there's lots of different categories. And this year there's different categories again because of COVID. But the category, um, the Calder Glen High School and Claremont Parish Church, Church have been awarded was Merit for the Most Improved Project in 2020. Now, the award recognises the school and the church's outstanding contributions to intergenerational work through vibrant communities. So I probably just, I think the scheme sees a senior pupil paired with older members of the community through Claremont Parish Church um, to provide a helping hand or just spend, spend time in their company. And I know that this year it couldn't continue face to face 
but Avril has told me it's been adapted so it's going to be telephone befriended. Is, yeah. And so far there's been quite a success of stories that I've been hearing. Mm. Um, and I think that's really all. I mean, I don't want to go on about us. I mean, people can join us and I could send you the links so that your, your church might be interested in looking at the website and anyone in Scotland can join for free. But today's about the awards and about you guys being, um, you know, doing so well. Okay. Thanks then. If you do send me the link in an email, um, uh, when this gets out of the broadcast, we'll, we'll put the link up on the on the screen and folks will be able to, to see it. Okay. Anna, you've been um, somebody who's been on the receiving end. Yes, that's correct. The, has it been a good experience? Absolutely marvellous and wonderful. Yes, it was a great, exciting journey with two young ladies from Clar uh, Clar uh, Calder Glen uh, School. It was about um, probably a few years ago when my husband was still alive that we had our first befrienders um, and um, Avril brought them along to uh, visit with us and just to get to know them and um, their names were Zoe and Sarah and they were wanting to be lawyers so they were uh, going to be studying law. Now, my husband was a social worker originally, and then before that, he, he was a probation officer. So that fitted in quite well because they had some something in common to talk about. <clears throat> to let you know, my husband had Parkinson's and he was uh, his speech had been affected and also his, his movements. Um, he's, he was alert and sharp, but uh, the, 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 the speech was, was the thing that really... Um, Mm. It was was uh, bothering him. Anyway, the the girls came and we 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 had an hour and a half sort of together. Uh, they spent a lot of time with Douglas doing um, Scrabble uh, quizzes. Um, they invented all sorts of funny games, and they really sort of, in a sense, you know, the, the although they were going in for law, they would actually have suited been suited well for. Uh, for people who, who had Parkinson's because they had they had all sorts of ideas. <clears throat> anyway, um, they were with, with us for the year and then they, they went off to university to study law. How, how often <clears throat> did they come? Uh, one day a week one for about an hour and a half or Good. so, or maybe it went on longer, it depended. Mm -hmm. um, they're certainly... Um, we had a lot of laughter and a, a, a lot of fun as well as as the serious talk. Um, so so we really just enjoyed their company and they were they were just a lovely couple of girls. They really Good. were. Good. So uh, they went off anyway to study law. <clears throat> and uh, my husband, when my husband died a few years after, um, they actually came to visit me and brought me a gift of flowers and we had a lovely talk and some fun laughter together. And I understand that they came to the service at Claremont Parish Church as well. Right. Which right. was That's... very thoughtful of them, I yeah, thought. Had a few... So even though it was a, an hour and a half for a week, uh -huh. um, you found that there was been links beyond that? You, you found that there's been other points of contact and other connections and other benefits at, at different times as well? Yes, I have, we lost contact. I've lost contact sure. with them, with Sarah and them, with the Sarah and Zoe. Um, but the very fact that we found that younger people, um, we, we, older people are interested to know what younger people are doing as well as the younger people want to know what, what it was like when you were young, you know. Mm. Uh, and, and what, what they asked Douglas a lot of questions about when he was a probation officer, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, you do learn, learn a lot. Good. I, was, I, I was going to say that I've got two, two girls now, I'll just quickly finish. Uh, two girls now, they're now at university because we've lost a lot of contacts with the, the COVID and uh, being locked down. But they, they, they're away to be doctors, so they're off there. So that tied in and suited me down to the ground. So we had some good fun and good. some good talks and they were interested in what it was like when I started mm. way back in the 50s. 
Yeah. So it was like uh, Florence Nightingale. <laughs> I was going to ask you if they, if they asked you if like you knew Florence, Florence Nightingale, Nightingale now. now. Yeah. yeah. How, how's the experience been for you, Ellie? What, what, how did it work for you? You know, a befriender, it really, it provided that companionship for our befrienders who were maybe feeling more isolated or kind of lonely. And it really allowed us to create a new relationship and a special bond with them. Um, myself and my friend Jennifer, we visited our befriender Len, um, if you know Len. Yeah. Um, so every Tuesday afternoon during our free periods, we walked down to his house and we'd get some cakes and treats and just talk about our day or our week and just, just kind of like our lives in general. And um, that was really special for me and Jennifer because Len loved to talk about his life and really what made him happiest in his family. And he loved that. And um, we, we thought it was great that, like Anna was saying, how we can learn from the older kind of generation and they can learn from us as well. So the kind of generation difference was really amazing. Um, unfortunately, Len, he is currently not well. No, that's and, right. He's not at all well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So me and Jennifer, we are actually managed to go and visit him even during these kind of these oh, tough times and um, we managed Excellent. to go and still care and provide for him which was really nice because we managed to kind of catch up obviously due to lockdown we couldn't really see mm. him but we still yeah. kept in contact with phone calls and messages and overall it's been a great experience um all of us at Calder Glen we've loved being befrienders and the befrienders have really loved having us so Good. it's been great I've had uh, some notion of how it happens at, at the volunteer side, because um, Avril Anderson, who's been mentioned a few times, Avril kind of goes around saying, I need volunteers, I need, I need folks for my befrienders to visit, I need more people. And so I, I've seen that happen. How, how does it happen at the school? Does everyone have to do this or do you volunteer for it? Or does somebody hit you with a stick until you say yes? How does it work? Well, um, when you're a six-year pupil, you will get obviously free, free periods. So that will be like double periods or single periods and you'll get a time slot. So if you are willing to volunteer, whether it's with the food bank or befriending or whatever you want to do for the community, um, you can sign up to what one you would like to do. Um, befriending is very popular. Um, a lot of people love doing it. Um, like I said, it's, it's very popular. Um, so we all signed up and then Avril would allocate us um, our person. So. Right. So did you hear about it like when you were in fourth year and when you were in fifth year? Were you aware that it was going on and, and thinking I might get a chance to do that? Is that? Yeah, I was, I was aware actually since first year because obviously wow. you get your buddies when you're in first year from the six years and um, mm -hmm. quite a few of the six years then were befrienders um, and are still good friends with Avril and their own befrienders. So it's always been like well known in the school, which is good. very good. Good. Guys, thanks very much for your uh, contributions. Bella, I'm just wondering if you had any other kind of points you wanted to make or reflections just as we're kind of kind of rounding off. No, but I felt that there was Anna and Ellie and we don't have a script. You know, we haven't written the script and they both said that they benefited from both uh, young and old meeting together. And uh, I mean, I'm just a strong contender for this kind of I'm pushing it forward all the time and I'm saying to folk, look, this works. So um, I think that you two, both Anna and Ellie, are real brilliant ambassadors of intergenerational relationships in action. So well done uh, taking part in it. And um, well done Claremont Parish Church for um, continuing befriending even in, in the time of COVID. Good. We've actually just, just on that point, we found one of the benefits because because one of the, one of the, things is because it's, it's usually when pupils have got I think double free periods but even within that there's there's kind of limited time and so it has to be kind of quite close by to the school geographically but because because this year we're having to do so much of it by telephone and um, we've actually got the reach further and I know that certainly one of our family friends here who, who lives in Sandy Hills in Glasgow um, is one of the folks who've been befriended this this year which you know you would never have been able had to time to go across the sandy hills but because it's on the telephone it's working so the network's spreading wider and let's hope from that maybe similar kind of work can catch on in other communities as well because i think all round it's it's one of the things that we we hear good news about um anna mentions that folks coming to funerals and we, we see it sometimes at other events like some of the music concerts and, and all the kind of matching up there and, and lots of other things and, and it just um we see 
good news after good news in terms of the, the stories that come out of it. So thanks very much. And thank you to Generations Working Together for, um, for the award. And we are, we're delighted to receive it. Sorry that it had to be um, online like this. Um, but, but that means you can just come back another time, Bella, and visit us in person. Okay. Sorry. Yes, I would love to. Thank you. Okay. Thanks all. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely seeing you all. Thank you. Thank nice you. to see you all. Nice, nice to see to you, see you. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye bye.